Good day, everybody. Today we are going to talk about a problem in which we will find the constant k using the binomial expansion. So I'll share my screen with you. So if the constant term in the expansion of k multiplied by x minus 1 over x exponent 6 is 240, find the value of k. Mm -hmm. So solution. The term containing x to the power of n in the expansion of x plus y <clears throat> sorry x plus y to the power of n is now there's a correction i need to make this is the term containing x to the power of r, okay? So, the term containing x to the power of r, okay? This is r. In the expansion of x plus y to the power of n is using binomial theorem. Binomial theorem. using binomial theorem. Oh, it became red. <clears throat> I don't want red. Okay, let me get rid of this. In binomial theorem is N, N, C, R, x to the power of r multiplied by x to the power of r multiplied by <clears throat> y raised to the power of n minus r. So in this problem, n is equal to 6. Our x is equal to kx and y is equal to 1 over x. Now, r can be any term from 0 to 6. Okay. Specifically, okay, specifically, if r equal to 4, then we get, we get in the expansion of kx minus 1 over x to the power of 6. The term containing kx as n, my n is 6, combination r is 4, kx to the power of r, which is 4, and uh, y, uh, y is actually minus 1 over x, minus 1 over x, and this is actually 
uh, there is a small mistake here. Uh, let me fix that. This and this. We'll get rid of this. This is one over x squared. So this is one over x squared actually in the original problem. Okay. So uh, this is y is equal to minus one over x squared. It's the second term. Okay, fix this. Red. Uh, I will uh, use the. Mm, first, I will get rid of this. Then, I will use the red pen. So, this is right over heat. Okay, so my y is equal to minus 1 over x square. Going back to the Okay, so minus so this is inside the parenthesis I have minus 1 over x square because that's your y and that is raised to the power of n minus r. Remember your uh, n is 6 and we have selected r is equal to 4. So n minus r is 6 minus 4. So this is 6 c combination of 6 things taken 4 at a time k to the power of 4 x to the power of 4 multiplied by now minus 1 over x squared raised to the power of sorry raised to the power of so minus 1 over x squared raised to the power of 6 minus 4 is 2. Now, minus 1 over x squared raised to the power of 2, when a negative number is raised to an even number, is raised to the power of an even number, like in this case, minus 1 exponent squared will be positive. So this will finally reduce to 6c4, a4, x to the power of 4, negative 1 raised to the power of 2, an even power is 1, positive 1, so basically, this is 1 over x is 4, okay? And this happened when we selected r equal to 4, okay? So now we can cancel. We can cancel this with this. So this is eventually 6, combination of 6 things taken 4 at a time, a to the power of 4. Now we have to find the value of the combination of six things taken four at a time, use the calculator. First, you press six, then you press math, then you highlight PROB on the top row, scroll down to number three, which is NCR, then in the square button, the square area, you type in the R value of R, which is four. So six C four is 15. <laughs> So this becomes equal to 15a to the power of 4, okay? Now, the value of the constant term is given if you look up in the problem. Let's reduce this a little bit. It is 240. Value of the constant term is 240. 15 k, 15 multiplied by k exponent 4 is the constant term because it does not contain any number or any expression with x, it does not contain x. So constant term, constant term, constant term is equal to 15 k 
exponent 4, which is given equal to 240. So divide by 15 on both sides. K to the power of 4 is equal to 240 divided by 15 is 16. Okay. So let reduce this a little bit more. So now we have k to the power of 4 is 16. So we uh, take the fourth root of k to the power of 4 is equal to the fourth root of 16. Or k is equal to, now fourth root of 16 is 2, but since this is the fourth root, it's a negative, the negative, there's a possibility k can be negative because minus 2 raised to the power of 4 is also 16. Hence, the answer for k is plus minus 2. Don't forget the negative because minus 2 exponent 4 is also 16. Hence, the answer for this problem is k equal to plus minus 2. That is important, plus as well as minus so I will stop here today. If you have any question, comment, please write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs, thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you like this video, please let your friends know about it so that they can also watch it. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner of the screen. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. I'll see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. See you.